Okay, when you need a laptop bag, okay, this one's pretty special. We're getting super technical that is not too big, but also not too small. The tight carry is so like, wow. In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite compact laptop bags. These aren't micro, like thinny, like just little guys that just carry a laptop. These are actually daily carry backpacks. They're just smaller. This is the first in a series of videos on laptop bags. The next one being medium size and the following one being large. Okay, we're gonna start with the weirdest one because this isn't actually the bag. This is a placeholder. I don't have the bag that I mean to include here. This is from Bellroy. Bellroy make the classic backpack and it is tits. A lot of things are similar on this bag, on the inside to that bag. This little thing, this little thing. There's a bit more on the Bellroy Classic backpack and another external access. Why do I love these bags so much? It is the perfect mix of techie, beautiful, like kind of thoughtful materials and just an overall simple bag. Again, this is not, this is not the bag but you should know about that bag. I'm gonna link to it below. I'm gonna link to everything below with numbers and time codes and all that stuff. And if you use my links, it does support the channel at no extra cost to you. And sometimes there is a discount applied. Thank you. Okay, this is one of my all time favorite, favorite bags to use on a daily basis. It is so simple but the materials are just, I mean, obviously it's black camo. I think they might have other colors besides black too. Um, but this is from GORUCK. It is their little 15 liter bullet. I think that's the one that this is. By the way, they've just upgraded this and now it has a laptop compartment, I believe, a separate laptop compartment. So check the link below. Why do I love this bag? Materials are excellent. You just, the pardon my French straps. I just, mm. these zip pulls and these zippers are just, mm. the simplicity of opening this up and it's just one big main compartment. You need pouches in here. Do you know about pouches? Check this out. This is the tech pouch from Peak Design. It is just beautiful, just beautiful everything organized, tight, little bit of padding around the outside, and that goes right at the bottom there, right? You need pouches with a bag like this. I have a, a link below right now to my favorite pouches. I collect them, I have a lot of opinions about them. What is unusable about this bag is this front pocket. <laughs> it's just a place where everything goes to die. However, if you just put one thing, for example, your phone and AirPods or something like that, then you just have to reach in, get all the way to the bottom. There tends to be a little crease down here that you have to push through to get to. But if you put a, it's a place you can put stuff that you might need, but you never really want to get into it. It's not, it's not ideal. But these pockets on the inside are quite nice. I can't, I don't know, I don't know. Some of you are not gonna like to carry like this. I am someone who literally in my life is evaluating products based on their design for functionality. And this for daily carry for me is just one of my favorites ever. Link to it below. Okay, we're gonna look at a few of these that are very, they're kind of similar, all right? This one's from Breton. It's like a, it's, they think of it like a briefcase, but it's really, it's a backpack. And it's actually made quite well, this nice wax canvas. Tons of little like organization-y stuff on this front panel, laptop, nice handles. The leather's not like uh, my favorite feeling leather, but I also haven't broken this in a bunch. I have not used this a lot. I did use it when I tested it for review. And I think that this leather would break in better over time, as will this patina, this waxed canvas vibe feels so good. Now compare that to this from Baron Fig. This is a new one from them that they've, they've just upgraded this bag. Don't mind the like green straps. They sell different colored straps and I just kind of put this on to remind me to share, share that with you, that you can get like different, you can accessorize with straps. Little luggage pass through. What's so fascinating about this bag is there's all these little access points and all these little pockets everywhere. To be honest, I greatly preferred the first version of this bag. 
This is the first version. I don't think that it's available anymore. If you can find one of these, go for it. If they still have them available on their site, a much more dense wax, not wax, but like cotton canvas. This is more of a polyester nylon kind of feel. Will last potentially much longer, but uh, just doesn't have the same, just doesn't have the same uh, zhuzh to it. However, what it does so well is it is uh, it is a very nice tight compart like like package with all sorts of organization. Check this little like this. Can you see this little like all these strappy dappy things for tying and pushing everything up against these surfaces? So your main compartment, which ends up having quite a bit of space in there, it's a very elegant. It's a very elegant, actually thoughtful design. I don't. I haven't fallen in love with the materials on this version. However, these straps do feel good in this like organic kind of cotton canvas. And then probably my favorite in this for most people in this little group is Day Owl, all right? Cotton canvas feeling kind of organic, rough, feels good. Great little straps with some mesh underneath, luggage pass through, little laptop compartment on the back, little side pocket. And then you open it up and it's got quite a lot of space. And see this right here? This is a water bottle compartment that has like some, I believe water resistant or at least water absorbent, but you can see how it cuts into the space. Pocket and pocket and then your laptops on the back with a quick access up top. This liner material is really sexy. There's lots of different colors for these, I believe in what they're up to. I think it's a very well-designed bag for this cute kind of everyday little vibe, like, like uh, I don't know. It's a, yeah, it's a little cute, right? But I, I like using this because it does have a kind of an organic feel. So Dayal, links to that below. By the way, this episode is brought to you by Tahoe Trail Bars. This one is peanut butter chocolate. I found these things in like a Whole Foods a while ago and I found that they were though not like my favorite ingredient set. Not my like it's like a little more sugar than I'd like, a little more acid than I'd like. I just found them to be actually tasty. You know a lot of food bars can have a really good ingredient list but then when I'm eating them it's just not good. You see how yummy that looks? I like this. I will link to this below. If you use my link it supports the channel. The founder of this company reached out and he was like, I like what you're doing. And I'm like, I actually like your bars. Mango coconut, you guys. So, shout out to Tahoe Trail Bar. Shout out to you. Let's get back into the video. Okay, this one's pretty special, actually. This one comes in two sizes, so including it here as well as in the next sort of like medium size thing. This is from Moment, and they did an amazing job creating a backpack that has lots of little like tech stuff that's not too, it's not too precious. It can feel a little tight. It has a kind of petroleum density to it that feels, that feels nice. Like this feels good. Back panel is solid with a little bit of mesh. These are really wide. These straps are really wide. If you have a fatter neck, you might feel some pinching there. I, I want moment. I want you to hire me to consult with you on this bag. Like I said, they have a medium size. I would go for that one. I would go for the bigger one, personally, because my 16-inch MacBook Pro does fit in this, but not inside this laptop thing very well. So I just like slide it in regularly. This material, super rad. Feels really good. Am I talking a lot about materials? Does that surprise you? The thing is, how your bag breaks in and works over time is not just a function of the size of these pockets and like what features there are, but the materials themselves, how they absorb oil, how you know pet hair, lint, dust, and dirt stick or don't stick to this. And this little, this little thing just, this is a good touch. One more little meshy up here and then your, your main capacity, your main compartment here, which this zipper is sort of interesting because it zips around and it goes smaller, like it, it goes to like some of this top panel actually is, that's part of why it felt tight is it just kind of like zoo, like, like caresses around your stuff. But this little beautiful little swooping water bottle compartment, so dope. Just the design of it, everything about it, 
It's a really simple design that ends up being like, but it's more than just simplicity. It's the complexity on the other side of simplicity. However, this water bottle compartment, too tight for me most of the time. So this is a truly a, a compact daily carry bag. Okay, we're getting super technical with these three here. Do you know about this one? I hope they still have this available for sale from Tad, Tactic, Tad, Tad, super cushy, dope back panel. Something about these materials, the juiciness, the like kind of juiciness of these straps, you're like, oh, it's like gummy. You see how they're like thin, but they're gummy? Little back zippers on both sides that get into the laptop compartment on the back, which has a ton of padding and protection, like very rigid plastic frame in the back here, which I am a huge fan of. My 16 inch MacBook Pro fits kinda a little bit. And as you can see, it's like, I had to open up both sides to get one corner out over here. Not ideal, uh, unusable for me. I can't do that. I can't do that when I'm getting in and out of a bag. I actually think they make this in a larger size too. This is the smaller, it might be 18 liters they call this one. I'll link to the exact one below. And same thing, getting it out, I kinda have to poke that corner through and then, pull this around so you know if you have a 13 inch you're gonna be stoked some sailcloth x-pack in a in a version that is probably my favorite version i've felt ever it has a like a soft like a broken down softness to it this is excellent you'll see all the zippers have these uh water sealed zips here on the front top just an awesome taco pocket that goes down to about right here and some meshy up here. See the thickness and the severity of this mesh? This is a completely different like caliber of bag. These guys make bags for like, you know, handgun carry and hunting and shit. You're gonna like, this mesh is for killing things. Open the main compartment, it goes almost all the way down, really big. You do have these little nubbins because they make pouches that clip into this and just hang here and here. The zip on this, zips really smooth. Little tiny zip pull for this quick access pocket, which is just too tight. And then the final pocket is underneath here. And it goes all the way up to the top of the bag. So just like a secret compartment. This bag deserves a lot of attention because they put a lot of attention into the details and stuff. I'll link to it below. I believe it is called the Tad Axiom 18. Triple lot design. Okay, VanQuest. There's something about these bags. Again, they have a larger version of this one. That Tad, they had a larger version. The Moment, this one as well, they have a larger version of, which will be in the next video. I actually have the larger version of this one. Just a little square on my body. Probably one of my favorite top pockets ever. Maybe I could do with it being a little bit deeper but just this, this thing that they have right here, this material for this, I dig it. Big, thummy zip pulls that move really good. None of these zippers are water sealed. Then you have your main compartment. Again, look at the dimension that they built into this one. That is nice. It's not just a flat guy with mesh. You can actually get a little bit of visibility in there when you open up that. And then when you're inside here, you've got like a, about four inches. When this thing's packed out, it, it can actually it can actually hold some shit. Water sealed zip here on the laptop compartment. All right, and then getting the laptop in and out of this was divine. Was so nice. It just moves so smooth. What's this? Business papers, man. I honestly love this bag. I loved using this. I loved using this bag. It's tight, boxy. Just feels like uh, when you put it on. I want a little bit of a smaller. I want. I want a little bit of a different sense on, th on these straps. They're not my favorite. Some good mesh here on the back, some little straps that you can use as handles or as luggage pass-through, and then a little whistle. Tombin Synapse, all right? Actually, this is the Synic, which is an upgrade, an update. You see all these pockets here. All these little pockets actually have dimension. There's this hole, like poof right here, which they've segmented in a bunch of different ways, including this back one right here, which is your water bottle pocket. This 
is an excellent sort of medium sized pocket. Now this is the small version of this bag. It comes in multiple sizes. And this one is quite tight. The smallest version of this bag is quite tight. It's probably my favorite way to carry this bag. These straps, Tom Bin's edgeless straps, are effectively like the lingerie of backpack straps. They're just yummy. Like it's like, mm, come here. Huge downside on this bag for me is here's your laptop compartment. I cannot fit my 16 inch into this one. If you're a 13 inch laptop or one of the smaller ones and you can fit into this, this is a super, Super rad bag, because all of the organizations on the outside, the straps and the comfort, just it, it works surprisingly well. And then the main compartment opens clamshell all the way, and it ends up, so, like it probably doesn't look like much, again, in the smaller size. It ends up carrying a lot more than you'd think. Okay, two more before our last little group here. All right, these are both really, like, They'll almost, they feel like there's nothing to them. They feel like this is just like a sack. This is just like a sack. But they both have a surprising amount of techie organization. This Mystery Ranch bag, for example, two top front zips. This one's just a pouch that goes down to here and it's surprisingly roomy. Whatever you put in here, you're gonna see the like, how it like flops down here if there's nothing underneath that. And then this top one is just your quick access, which again, doesn't have, I want it to, I like my quick access to go down. When you're using it, it feels better when it's not a, like up against the top and you're going in this way. You want it to be oriented like this, like two tacos. That's my take, Mystery Ranch, call me. Surprisingly dope back panel. I love putting this bag on. I love this bag. I love the simplicity of it. It's extremely lightweight for having such a like, a, a seriously like robust like padding and strap feeling on the back panel. It's like there's nothing to this. And then you open it up and this is lovely. Your capacity is just, it's just a sack. Like this is just, just fabric. It doesn't even have a line, like a liner down here. It'll feel tight and it'll feel like a little like pouch on your back, but then getting in, getting your laptop is still super easy and great. And then maybe your like main tech everyday stuff is just right in here in this little taco pocket. So I love this. I believe it's called the prize fighter from them. Links to that below. Then one of the bags that started it all for me. Now this is an upgraded and updated version. They've continued to iterate and make things better. This is Manal. Really just simple, techie. This is just the size of a passport, like just basically the size of a passport. That's clearly what it's for. These straps can unclip and hide away behind this panel so you can go semi-briefcase mode. They also have a travel bag that is perfect size for when tight on your travel bag stuff. And then this is your personal item. Gorgeous, big, quick access. Just like you can see, it comes to here, it's spacious. When you have an opening like this, it's actually spacious to get in. And then on this side, simple mesh, zipper pocket up against it. So you can throw some stuff in there that is out of the way. Arguably, I like to have that mesh on the inside panel, not the outside panel, personally. These zips, reverse coil, move really smooth, not water sealed, they are lockable, and then just opens up. Little water bottle pocket here, not my fave, not my fave doing this. This is like slightly stretchy, barely. One, two, mesh, uh, see-through and not see-through here. And your capacity is surprisingly large. Now that's just the main compartment. This is basically like, like you're just throwing stuff into there. You have a zipper down here with a rain fly that comes out and covers the entire thing. The real thing on this bag happens in this back panel. Do you see this? Do you see what's happening here? This is a completely size customizable laptop strap thing. I just tend to hide these things away, leave this like this, 16 inch fits here. This is neoprene. You have access to it from the top or the side. This is just your, your tablet pocket. This is like, they're very serious about your, uh, uh, You know, man, some of us are working for a living, man. We need a place to put our... Um...
uh, papers, business papers, man. If you orient everything towards the side and you open it up like this, I don't know if you could tell, but you can see and grab everything you need just from one side right here. So that is the side that you have your handle on. These straps are away and you're just carrying this thing quite simply, like I'm just a regular person. Oh, I don't know what I'm up to. And then you open it up, you're like, damn, I got my manila forward with my business papers, bro. Let's make a deal. Okay, the final group here is like five bags from Air. They're surprisingly good bag. Here, this Fit Pack, two. This is like a duffel pocket. Can fit like a pair of shoes, little maybe a gym workout kind of thing. Not a lot, but enough. At the bottom here, literally a shoe compartment. Then quick access pocket, which is actually a nice size. Water sealed zips with Predator Dreadlock zip pulls. And just a simple throw your laptop, throw some tech stuff, have this thing. Maybe you have a little tech roll or pouch inside of here. Super tight, nice bag. I actually use this a lot. I know, I know several people who like my friends who use this. It's a great bag, solid. All of them have the same back panel, same straps. It's just really durable. This is the X-Pack version of that. These are ballistic nylon, all right? You can see that kind of weave to them. This one, I believe, is, the, is like their new flight pack. These are just like super rigid, robust, like, like uh, I don't know. I like it, actually. It feels robust. I think it looks good carrying it like this. However, orienting things to the side here is not what is happening on the inside. So this works better as a backpack. And th it's effectively the same backpack as lots of, as, as these others, right? Nice inner panels here. There's our quick access, the size of our quick access pocket. And then Air's sort of signature front pocket, which is thin, you know, not a lot of capacity here, but you can fit your business papers, man. And then lots of organization. Undies pockets all the way down. Really great liner on these bags. They feel rigid. They feel thick and heavy, you know? They feel... They feel really capable, like they're gonna be around for a long ass time. Here's their like day pack. There's a couple versions of this. This is the day pack version and then there's a tech pack version. This one, uh, the tech pack has like slightly too many panels for me, but it's a little bit bigger. It's in the next video. Same front panel where you've got that organization. Same back panel where you've got laptop, and then your main compartment. Little uh, water bottle pocket right here. Quite tight, like all oh, these look really tight. You got that Eddie Murphy raw, kind of like leather suit vibe on the outside. It's not leather. It's a, it's a like a coated treatment on ballistic nylon. And it'll be interesting to see what that patina is like over time. All of these super minimal branding. And here's the final one, which I believe is the flight pack. Again, I will link to which ones are which below. This is, on all these bags, this is on all these bags, basically. This is a really good version of it. See these, these little creases right here? Tasty, tasty little stuff. See these, these tabs for pulling that closed? Tasty, that ends up feeling really nice. Then your main compartment, which has laptop capacity and a couple undies pockets, all right? This is super nice, big gooey, like rigid, straps. Okay, that's everything. I'll link below to everything. Use my links if you need something. Um, holler in the comments with any questions. Favorite for you uh, that you use in this category of smaller, more compact, but still a backpack daily carry. I have been Chase Wardman Reeves. You can find out more about the bags and products that I love for everyday use at matterful.co. While you're there, get on the email list because that is how we do free giveaways of stuff like this. Last time we gave away like 10, almost $20,000 worth of gear. So get on the email list. I basically never send you an email. I mean, I probably will at some point, but it might just be about the giveaway. Bye-bye.